Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Bob Lennon, President of Thermalwood Canada and host for the show. And our special guest today, Candace Ostrowski. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. So, Candace, the reason why we're here today is to talk a little bit about your passion, your passion of the arts and, and what you're doing for kids. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I am a professional artist. I create art, but I also like to experiment with different ways of, of sharing and experiencing art with people. And one of the ways is teaching kids and adults. And uh, I've been teaching about 30 kids for the last eight weeks. And uh, I've been loving it. I, uh, I teach at the Bay Breeze Gallery and uh, the kids amaze me. So this is your first time of, of putting this together. Like you said, you've been teaching them for eight weeks now. So you've just recently started this. I had kind of started just before the pandemic. I was about uh, three weeks in and then I was sent to Newfoundland for work. And two weeks later, just the world shut down. So it was kind of uh, timely that I had to stop my classes anyway at that time. But it gave me a little taste and um, I kept getting requests. So I thought, why not uh, give it a try to see see how it goes? So in the evenings after I finish work, I teach. So what's the age group that you have with kids? I have a class of ages five to seven, and uh, I have three classes of kids ages eight and up. So between the ages of eight and 13. Okay, so still pretty young. When you're starting at, did you say five? Yeah, I have some five-year-olds, and they completely amaze me. They're they're super talented. They all want to be there. They all love it, and uh, they're so sweet. I see them help each other. They share, and they're so kind to me. I, I'm really enjoying this experience. Well, it's interesting because in last week's uh, uh, Northern Heat show, we talked about the kids uh, through the Sistema project. So, and this is teaching them arts too, is teaching them music. And you, on the other hand, now are looking at teaching them how to paint and how to do things and how they express themselves. Now, before our interview, we talked a little bit about the fact of what inspires you. And you talked a lot about what you find in Bathurst and in our region. Uh, talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm de I'm definitely fascinated in um, the beauty in the mundane. Um, like just from my commute to work every day across the bridge, uh, the view of sunrise and sunset. Um, I think a lot of people take it for granted, but I see so much beauty in it. I think we're so spoiled here to be able to go paddle boarding on the bay uh, in the evenings, in the summer. And uh, yeah, I, I just want to show other people what beauty there is in, in the day-to-day, -day, really. And so a lot of my artwork is about Bathurst with themes of, um, a little bit of themes of isolation, but also themes of community and connection and uh, happiness. Well, that's the big thing, right? It's, it's, it's all about community here because there's a lot of things that we don't have that exist in bigger centers and stuff. And, and so we've all got to pool together to be able to make things happen. And you were saying, too, that you've traveled all over the world, but you always end up coming back here, right? Yeah, I've, I've been to Israel, South Africa, Australia, Peru. I lived in Peru, but I always come back to Bathurst. I love it here. Uh, I could definitely see myself spending my life here, even though I love visiting other places. And uh, something that I, I really appreciate is the community here. The community is so supportive. And I like that there's so many small businesses that people put their heart into. I love being able to go to a French bakery on Thursdays and Fridays mm -hmm. and uh, getting something that was made by hand that somebody put their heart into. And there's all the small businesses in town, I just, I really love them. And we're starting to see a lot more people coming from outside and immigrants that are moving here and they're bringing their flavor to uh, to our region too. So that's always good to good to have. So I want to go back to your passion a little bit too, because we, we talked a little bit about it at the beginning. And so, you know, getting into teaching kids and, and uh, some adults too uh, in here, but how do you see that your, your passion growing in that aspect and, and what, what do you need to be able to take it to another level? Well, I'm fascinated by so many different areas of the arts, including arts management and administration. I'm a board member for Arts Link New Brunswick. I'm also a member of the APN Bay, the Acadian Arts Association here in New Brunswick. And uh, 
Something that I think Bathurst could really use is an art center that would be similar to like Aberdeen Center in Moncton, where artists could have studio space to work, a place where uh, professional artists could exhibit, maybe a one-stop shop where people could um, buy art materials to get framing done. Um, yeah, I think that would be a great resource for artists. So something that's missing mm -hmm. might be existing in other parts of the province, as you mentioned before. So I'll put a call out to that to our followers. If there's anybody there that has some ideas that can help Candace with that or, or, you know, have ideas that, you know, they can't do things on their own and they were looking for some other uh, opportunities to talk to people about it. Yeah. The whole point of this is to try to create that network so that uh, you can grow your passion. For sure. And I mean, Bathurst is such a beautiful area. Wouldn't this be a nice place to maybe have like an international art residency program where we could invite artists from other parts of the province or the country or the world to come and um, also show us what they do? I think it would be great exposure for people to see different types of art. And uh, I think anybody who came here for such a thing would definitely leave thinking, wow, Bathurst is just such an incredible spot. Well, that's a a real important point mm -hmm. because anybody that comes here from outside always leave with a great impression of what we have, no matter what it is, whether it's the uh, Nabisgwit challenge that we do that brings people from all over the, uh, uh, the country and sometimes from even from North America, which is great. They come here and they, they can't believe what, uh, what they've gone through to the fact of just giving that experience to people in our own province. Mm -hmm. And the fact of doing something like that that would be international could be turned into, you know, could be a festival, could be a bunch of other things, right? Yeah, absolutely. And there's ample opportunities to do this. We just have to have uh, young people and creative people like yourself to come up with these ideas. And, and uh, so hopefully somebody's listening in or, or uh, somebody can support you or can start this thing off. But it's the beginning of, uh, you know, dropping that uh, little uh, stone in the uh, in the bucket here and seeing what can happen from there. Absolutely. So I really appreciate the fact that you came in today to talk to us about what you're doing, to talk to us about your passion and what could happen in our region. And I wish you the best of luck, especially with the children and being able to move them forward into a bigger artistic world. Yeah, I, I'll do my best, but they teach me as much as I teach them. Well, just as long as you're having fun and you're enjoying it, that's the key to, to it all. So again, very much appreciate it. There we are. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week. The place you come to to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.